Jedi. Because what is the one thing that most PC gamers want? RGB? It can be, but mostly more frames. So what we are going to be making on this video is to test some ways of things that you should and shouldn't do to get more FPS completely for free. Now, to make this test, guys, we're going to be using Ballet Benchmark. It's a free application that you can download. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. And even though it's a little bit of an older software, it's perfectly fine for this test. And we're going to be using this because this is a synthetic benchmark. In this way, it's easier to reproduce all the times the same results because when you are playing a game, I know that playing a game is more real life scenario, but when you're doing like this, it's really difficult to replicate the same movement, the same patterns that you was doing on the previous run. That's why we are going to be using a synthetic benchmark. For the first run, we're going to do the worst case scenario. We're going to be running OBS because the thing that you want to record your gameplay. You also have a bunch of tabs open in Chrome. This core is open, you're speaking with your friends. The Epic Game Store launcher is open. Steam launcher, some downloads. And this is really the worst scenario that you can do. You can even have more things open. Let's go into the Valley benchmark. I'm going to be running a custom preset with DirectX 11, quality into Ultra, Stereo 3D disabled, monitors are single, anti-aliasing off with full screen and the resolution alert system. So if you guys want to follow along, you can try it. We want to click on Run. I want the program start, you want to click into Benchmark. Let's wait and see the results. The test is done. We got around 153 FPS with a score of 6425. Okay, let's say some of you don't record any gameplay or do anything with that. So let's stop recording with OBS and let everything else in the background running only so you guys can get an idea what it could be with everything on it. Let's close it and run once more the benchmark. Now we have a FPS of 162 and a score of 6807. Already a big improvement. And right now I'm going to close the Steam Launcher, the Epic Games Launcher, and I'm also going to be closing Discord, leaving still Chrome running on the background. After closing everything else and leaving Chrome open, we have a result of 165 frames and 6,906 points. It's already again one improvement. Now we close Chrome and we have a complete clean system only with our game, or in this case the benchmark, and nothing else. And let's run it again. Now that we close Chrome, our frames went up to 168 frames per second and the score to 7048. Again, guys, this is an increase of what we did before. So now you know, especially if you're running an older software, what you have to do to have better performance in your games. You don't have a lot of clutter and a lot of things open while running your games now. And I'm going to show you two more things that you can do and we're going to make a test between both of them. The first one, you want to download MSI Afterboard. All the links will be in the description down below. Once you have downloaded it and installed it, you want to open it. And normally this is the software that we use to make overclocks in our system. But in this case, I'm not going to be overclocking it. Because one thing that you have to know is the algorithm that these graphic cards have. What they do is that as long as they have temperature headroom, so they haven't reached their temp limit, and they also have available power, they are going to boost higher. So what you want to do once you open MSI Afterburner is to go into the settings and check these three marks. Unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, and this one is not really necessary, but you can do it as well, force content voltage. Click into apply, you're going to need to restart MSI Afterburner for that. And now here into voltage, you want to set it all the way to the right, as high as you can go, and into the power limit, again, as high as you can go. Click into apply, and only with these changes, let's see if this makes a difference in our benchmark. 168.9 in the frames and 7069, that wasn't too much of a gain. One thing that you can try if you do this is to bump up the fan curve in MSI Afterburner to keep your graphic card a little bit cooler. It's also recommended for older hardware. And the last thing I want you guys to try is a tiny overclock on your graphic card. Let's only do a 50 in the core clock and 100 on the memory. 
nothing too big, it's not going to overheat your graphic card. It's a really simple and easy overclock. Click into apply and let's run the benchmark for one last time. And just like that, we're going to have 172 frames and a score of 7,200. As you can see, guys, it's a really big improvement. There are, of course, some small tweaks that you can do here and there. You can overclock a little bit further your GPU, your RAM, or even CPU. But this is the basic tutorial of the things that you shouldn't do when you want to improve performance and what you can do to win those free FPS. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you are new to the channel, a subscriber is always more than welcome. Thanks one more for watching, and like always, see you on the next time. Bye-bye.